Welcome to episode one of Traveling Europe 2022 with Molly and Thries. We're going to be traveling around Europe in our little Volkswagen car for the next few months or until we run out of money. I thought we'd treat this as a sort of visual diary, just documenting where we're going, hopefully doing some fun things along the way. We left sunny mid Wales and made the 290 mile journey down to Dover and caught the ferry over to Calais, which was a very pleasant experience. We arrived two hours early and they allowed us to go on an earlier ferry, which was ideal. 90 minutes later, we were at the sandy beaches of Calais. After locating our Airbnb, we parked the car and walked into the center of town. I expected a large, vibrant town center, but in reality, it was a fairly small and quiet place. All the walking made us hungry, so we went into a local corner shop and had a sandwich for lunch. Ham and cheese sandwich for me, just ham for Molly, and nothing for this hungry looking seagull. After that, we went back to our Airbnb, sorted everything and went back to the front to buy our dinner, which was burgers and chips. I'll let Molly give her mark out of 10 for the food. Out of 10. Um, 9.8. Wow. We finished our food and stayed to watch the beautiful sunset before making our way back to the MBUB for the night on what was a very successful day one. Let's see what day two has to offer. We start day two with a few pull-ups and a fair few dips ready to attack the day. Making the 62 mile journey up across the French-Belgium border into the beautiful city of Bruges. Located in the Flemish region of Belgium, this picturesque city looks like something from Beauty and the Beast or any other Disney film really. These clips really don't do it justice. We went for a walk around the main attractions, had a local waffle which was outstanding and went into a Christmas shop that was thriving in September. We then made our way around the centre square of Bruges, saw the prices of the restaurants and immediately went straight towards the supermarkets to buy different pastries that they had to offer. I'll hand you back now to Molly for another food segment. To ten. <laughs> After eating the quarter filled sausage roll, we went into a customizable waffle shop where we filled our waffle with chocolate and smarties before heading out to Bruges to our Airbnb, which was located in Birnum, an eight minute drive from Bruges. Also the home to this adorable little cat. This was the room we stayed in for the night for 36 pounds. A very stylish and well-equipped room, very reasonable. And that's it for day two, another successful day. Surely it's too good to be true. <laughs>